Hey, Shelly Turner, the Builder of Diva here, and I wanted to take a moment to give you some tips and tricks on how to handle the mobile version of building in the Pixel Perfect. So there's a couple things that you need to know to make sure you understand how to go from desktop to mobile and make sure that your mobile looks exactly the way you want it to look. Whatever you do on desktop and the order that you do it, that's how it's going to appear in the mobile. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a banner. And remember, we build our website, the body of our website with banners. So we'll go ahead and grab that banner. And I'm just going to change the appearance to white, just like this. And then I can move that banner up and down. So I'll just move it right up underneath that header. And then we'll make sure the footer is right up against it. And so now let's start adding and see what happens on the mobile version. So I'm going to go ahead and go to plus and I'll just add a box here. So let's go ahead and pull in just a random box. There we go. There's a shadowed box. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of make it a little bit bigger and we'll pull in some text. And let's pull that text in and we'll take this and actually put that text right there, put the box right there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And we'll maybe put a button right underneath that box. So let's grab a purple button. That looks good. So that's the order that we did it. We did the box first, the text, and then we did the button. But let's see what happens when we take a look at the mobile version. So I'm just going to click the mobile version right here. And you can see that I've got the box, the text, and then the button. So that's really different than what I have on desktop. And that's because I put the box first, then I put the text, and then I put the button. So that's why it's appearing in this order. So for me to reorder it, I need to go ahead and click and drag that banner over. That'll drag everything with it. And then I can start dragging things around and making things in the order that I want them. So I can put this up here. I can put the box down here. I can pull the button down here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work because I kind of flip flop the order of things as I was working on the desktop. And remember, your mobile keeps everything in the order of what you put it in when you added it to the desktop. So now let's take a look at what happens if I go back to the desktop and I put this uh, text maybe down here below the button. So I'm going to move this box and I'm going to move the text and I'm going to move the button. So now I've got box button text. Let's see what happened to the mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and click that mobile and nothing happened. It's still in the order that I left it. And if I want to change the order, I have to change the order just like this. Whatever order I want to put it in, I'm going to have to manually change the order. And now if I go back, it's box, button, and text. And if I look at my desktop, box, button, and text. So if you try to manage creating your website in pretty much the order that you want it to be, as far as adding elements into your website, your mobile will be looking that same way. But if you add elements and then start moving them around, the mobile is going to show all of the elements in the order that you added them, not the order that you change them on the desktop. So that's a really important tip and trick to make sure that you understand how to change the mobile around. Because whatever order you put your elements in on desktop, they're going to hold that order in the mobile until you change it. So that's one tip on how to handle managing your desktop view versus mobile view in the Pixel Perfect Builder. Hey, if you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in joining Builderall, just go to www.builderallguru.com and I'll see you on the inside.